Hello coaches, it's Emma, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to fill out your leader roadmap. Um, the leadership roadmap was not something that I did in the beginning of the business, but I did it all through 2013 and I would update it every single month. And it was so cool to see, number one, that I was hitting the goals that I was setting, and number two, where I needed to make adjustments or add more attention to my business so that I would hit my year-end totals. And so. It's a very simple process and it doesn't take very long, but it definitely gives you a roadmap to success. If you think about um, driving you know, from here to Vegas, you're gonna need mile markers along the way or little uh, turns and twists and things to follow, right? You need stops along the way in order to get there. This is kind of like your GPS for your business. Um, you should first and foremost set your goals that you have for the year and create your vision board before doing this. And that's in another video. Um, once you do that, then that can help you to set your year end goals with Beachbody and figure out how to work those into your life. So the first thing um, on the later roadmap, and I just printed it off so you could see what I'm talking about. Um, put your name and the date. I keep a, a copy of mine and I update it every single month. So you're going to want to put your current rank and where you want to be by the end of the year. Over here in the notes section, write in your why. And your why is going to change and evolve over time. So don't look at last month's when you write your new why. Because you don't want to look back and go, oh yeah, I guess that's what it was. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll write that. Because if it changes, that's okay. You want it to be organic and how you're feeling right now. So write your why in the notes. Write a more immediate why, like something you want to accomplish this month. And then also what you'd want to accomplish your, like, dream huge goal, your big scary, oh my goodness, this would be amazing goal, and write it down. Put it in writing. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look back and write your current monthly income and what you want to have at the end of the year. Then your, how many coaches did you, oh, how many personally sponsored diamonds did you have last month? And then at the end of the year, did you achieve premiere? Did you achieve elite? And I'll do separate videos to explain how to achieve those things and then are you top 10 so are these goals of yours for the year yes or no put those down there and then this is the important part is can you see that it's probably backwards <laughs> I should have blown this up that would have been easier but on these right here it has the different things we're gonna track and we also track these on our business activity tracker every single week so this goes with that and then it has the months across the top so what you would want to do to fill this out is take your year-end goal for your income and that is going to go in your income year-end goal. And then what you'll do is you'll take what you made in the last month. Right now it's April, so let's say you would take what you made in March. Let's say, for example, your end goal is to make $2,000 a month. And in March, let's say you made $400 a month. Well, just to make it easy, let's say you made $500 a month. So you'd write $500 in, Mar in the March income line right here. Then for April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, what you would do to figure out those income totals that you'd want to achieve, your goals, is that you would take the $2,000, your year-end monthly income goal, subtract your current monthly income, which is $500, and that leaves us with $1,500 then you would divide 1,500 by the remaining months in the year. So we have April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So you're gonna divide 1,500 by nine. What is that? I should have a calculator. Around 150, right? <laughs> you can check my math. <laughs> A little rusty a little more than that let's say 150 for this analogy okay so you're gonna take what your current monthly income is for for March and you're gonna add that 150 to it and, and that would be your monthly income goal for April so it'd be uh, 550 400 or wait 500 plus 150 is 650 and then you would add another 150 on to the May goal and so that would be 550 oh, excuse me 650 plus 150 is 800 and then the next one would be 950, and then you would have 1100, and then you'd have, and it would keep adding up until finally it's going to get to 2000, and that's how you're going to reach that goal. So you know that if you want to make an extra $150 a month, that's going to determine your, um, 
how many success club points you have. That's why we do the income first. So if you want to make uh, an extra $150 this month, then you're going to want to sell at least three challenge packs because the commis commission on a challenge pack is between $50 and $70. So three challenge packs on average is, are, is going to bring you six success club points and on average $50 commission each. Okay? Does that make sense? Two, ch two success club points per challenge pack. Now, so for your goal for success club points, in April you would put six, May six, June six, you know, and you can even add more than that if you want to shoot higher than what your goal is that we're talking about with income. Um, number of each body challenge groups, because you're just having helping three people get started on their journey, one challenge group per month would be sufficient. You're going to want to recruit one person from that into a coach. And then the strong leg, weak leg volume, when you start building a team, you keep track of those. And the goal is to increase that by at least 10% every single month. And then your first business center rank advancement, that is what you would put if you want to move up or when you're going to move up. So if you're a coach, you're going to move up to Emerald or Ruby, Diamond, etc. And so when is that going to happen? You can't really put those totals in there until you talk to your team of coaches. If you don't have a team, then you can just guess of when you would like to recruit and, and help others move up in that time. If you do have a team of coaches, you need to talk to them about their goals because you cannot move up to Ruby or Diamond until they're ready to move to Emerald. And you cannot move to a Star Diamond until your coach is ready to become a Diamond, if that makes sense. So you'll make a list of your top coaches, or if you don't have coaches at the time, you're going to want to make a list of potential people that could be coaches and put them here and then talk about when they're, they would want to move up, if that makes sense. And, and keep track of that. And that way you could go over this with them every month and evaluate their goals and where they need to make adjustments. So the big thing is that, you're, that you first set your income goal because you can reverse engineer that backwards. If you're just trying to make an extra $150 a month, you know, obviously that um, helping three people is going to be sufficient. If you're trying to go from brand new coach to making $5,000 by the end of the year, your success club goals, your recruiting goals, your challenges are going to be a lot different. So you would want to have, you know, more like 15 um, as your goal for success club points a month. And you're going to want to start two challenge groups a month. And you're going to be a little bit more aggressive with your goals. So your goals on here have to match what you're trying to do by the year end. And you need to make adjustments where, where needed because of what you're doing right now versus where you want to be. Okay, any questions about that? Reach out to your upline and make sure you set up an appointment to talk with them on the phone to go over your leader roadmap and, and uh, make sure you understand it. I hope you had a little giggle there as I struggled with my math man, my mom brain. <laughs> Good thing we have calculators. Thank you all.